Hey guys, this is Colby. Uh, today we're going to be continuing where we left off last time with making the sci-fi heavy cruiser inside Blender. Today we're just going to add some details and some extra little parts to add some extra visual appeal to it. But anyway, let's get started. So basically, for most of the larger details we're going to add, it's just going to be cubes that have custom shapes with a mirror modifier applied to each one. So that way it symmetrizes across the hull. So I'm going to go ahead and show an example. Real quick. So I'm going to press shift, we'll hold it down, and then right click on a point of the mesh, and that will set a new spawn point where we can spawn a new mesh. Press shift A, let's add a cube. Let's move it up a bit and scale it down. Let's add a modifier, mirror it, and set the mirror object as the uh, entire ship itself. And there we go, symmetrize across. And so now we can go into edit mode on this cube. So go into edit mode and we can just start adjusting the shape of it to whatever you like. So I might just have it I move forward a bit at an angle and move the whole thing down a tad bit and just kind of create a custom shape. Move parts around, press G after selecting a face in face mode here and just press G to move it around or you can use this little arrow tool and just drag it around wherever you want the arrows which is pretty easy but using a shortcut is just a little bit faster just pressing G it does the same thing so in the last video I basically kind of covered how to to do extrusions how to scale a face and extrude another one from it so that way you can create this entire ship so it's the way I'm basically going to be doing for these details as well I'm just going to add a couple edge loops down the middle here maybe some more here I'm going to press G twice to edge slide some of them down. And if you don't know how to select an entire row of edges, like I did here, it selects the entire row. You can just press Shift-Alt once you're in edge mode. Just hold it Shift-Alt down and select a set of edges. And you kind of have to click it in a certain way for it to actually select properly. Otherwise, it'll do this, which is not what you want. So you just want this one. That's how you select them. So basically, I'm just going to grab this face and just move it down a tad bit. You can do whatever you want with your details. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you're happy with it, that's all that matters. I'm going to rotate the whole thing a tad bit to match the angle of the ship. Just to make it look a little nicer. Something like that. You can just keep doing this all over and over again for the rest of the ship. And just add random details. Details aren't super important, but they add a bit of extra visual appeal to the whole ship. So, since you kind of know the basics, I'm going to do a little time lapse and just show the process of details added to the ship, or at least how I add them to my ship here, and just add a few extra bits. So, I'll see you here in a bit. Also, if you want to merge two faces together down the middle here and connect it and just make it a single piece, you can grab this face on the inside, press X to delete it, and then select faces, and turn on clipping on the mirror modifier, and press shift alt. Select the set of edges on the inside and just move them to the inside on the X axis, and it'll merge together and stick just like that. Also, one more thing that I mentioned in the last video is just a bevel. You can select two edges, however many edges you want. Press Control B, and that'll add a bevel modifier. Just a slight uh, adjustment to it.
So we're nearly done with the video. Uh, just one extra little thing to know. If you want to add like a windows to the ship, uh, you can just select a couple faces here. Press I to inset. And that'll actually add a inward protrusion automatically for you. And you can select this option here. It can turn on an individual. And that'll add individual window frames. Uh, you can turn this on or off if you want on if you want just to be a single window. That's your option. Now I like to actually have two separate windows. And I'm gonna do the same up here for this bridge. I'm gonna add one right here. Press I to inset. And then once you have it set to the proper size that you want it to be, you can press E to extrude. I'm gonna move it on the y-axis back a tad bit. That's so that looks good. You can also do the same in the back if you want. I to inset, press E to extrude, and left click. And just move it around. So for the sides here, I'm gonna make a small intrusion. Uh, I'm just gonna select this front edge here, make it a bit taller. That's almost like this set of edges or faces on the side. Press I to inset, just like that. I'm gonna press E to extrude. And move it on the x-axis. Just move it inside. Move it outside if you want, but I'm going to move it inside. It looks pretty nice. And it adds a little bit of extra detail on the sides here. It also adds, or adds a bit of extra space for like a hanger right here, anywhere you want it to be. You can tell on the reference there's like a small intrusion just like this. That's what we have on our ship now. So one last thing before we end the video, uh, to add little extra surface details like this, that's not super difficult. There's like little specks that's kind of scattered around the whole of the ship. Basically, you just need to create a bunch of tiny little cubes. I'm gonna use this one here, and we're just gonna kind of create like a collection of them. I'm gonna turn off the mirror modifier and just sort of start with this one. I'm gonna do, go into edit mode and then duplicate it. And just scale it down a tad bit. This one here, just like this one, and just like the whole thing, you can duplicate it again. You can rotate it like this, like 90 degrees, and just kind of randomize it a tad bit. Just try to make it essentially all inside of like a imaginary square. So say like this is the top left corner, bottom left corner. This will be a bottom uh, right corner. In the top right corner up here. So we're just going to fill this empty space on the bottom right. So I'm basically just going to scale this whole thing down a tad bit. Try to make it a nice square first and then scale it down. We're just going to place these around the whole of the ship, but I'll show you a little trick to make that a little bit quicker. So just rotate it, kind of match the angle of where we're placing it. So I might place it right here. I'm just trying to move it to this location. We're basically just going to match the angle of this face we're placing it on. Make sure it's touching good. Now we're going to add a modifier and press array. And then change the factor to looks like a Z. Just like this. Make sure they're kind of touching. You can turn up the counts to get as much as they need. And so that's basically the basis for adding tiny little details across the whole of the ship. You can do this anywhere you want uh, on the ship itself. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse, kind of show the process. 
Uh, if you want to do this whole thing over again, you can just duplicate it. Or you can add another ray modifier on top of the same object. But this time, change it to a factor of negative y, negative 1 in this case. Turn up the count to however much you need to cover the entire section. So I'll do a little time lapse and I'll see you here in a sec. Also, I'd recommend adding a mirror modifier to that piece that you started with. Uh, so let's say this piece, start off with a mirror modifier because you're going to be using that piece for the rest of the mesh by duplicating it over and over to make all these separate uh, different angles. So I recommend just adding mirror modifier on that first piece. It'll save you a lot of trouble and a lot of work in the work, uh, future. You'll thank me later. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that this is a separate object and you can actually scale it up and down as much as you need it to. So you can scale the whole thing up and it'll act as a single object rather than like several multiple objects. Go into edit mode, then everything will start to act independently. Like you select this face here. It'll only select that piece and scale that section up, which is good for adding variation if you want extra variation in detail. So. This is where I'm at so far uh, with the ship. There's a bit added to it. So all I did earlier is just duplicate the same piece that I made earlier and just rotate it and just kind of align it with a certain part of the ship. And you're, you can just move them around wherever you want. Basically, I'm just covering the whole of the ship with these little details. So I'm going to keep going. I'll see you here in a second. So if you ever come across any kind of like angular sections like this and you don't know how to cover it, Something I do is just duplicate this piece here as closest to it, and I just rotate it a tad bit. It's fine if it overlaps, that's fine, because it looks good from a distance. That's all that really matters, it's just a tiny detail. And you just kind of angle it, match it to the plane here. Scale down as much as you need. You get skinnier. Just kind of do it like this. Just rotate it to however you need. Make sure it's not clicking through too much. Try to keep things looking clean. Just like this. That looks good. So once you've covered most of your mesh with the details that you want, uh, now it's just time to go ahead and symmetrize everything. So you can symmetrize a piece. So this section here. Just by adding the mirror modifier again and setting the target as the hole itself. I'll do an example. Just add a mirror modifier, set the target as the mesh of the ship. Make sure to select the right section. There we go. I'm just do this for the rest of the pieces here. Alright, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them. And uh, next time we'll be texturing the ship with just some basic colors. It might help enhance the overall patterns. Just add a bit more to the ship. But anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful. And see you guys next time.